Just like fundamental theorem of line integrals, Green's theorem is another way that if you recognize the conditions for Green's theorem, it makes your line integral a whole lot easier. And the conditions that need to be held for Green's theorem is your path C is most importantly enclosed. If your path encloses a region, then if you want to compute the line integral of f dotted with dr, or if you have a line integral of some p dx plus q dy, instead I can do the double integral of qx minus py over that said region. So let me show you an example and then we'll do a couple more after this. Say I want to compute the line integral of x squared y dx plus x dy, where c is the triangular path from the point 0, 0 to the point 1, 2 to the point 0, 2 back to the point 0, 0. Well, what you would have to do, if you remember back to the line integrals part 1, we did a, a problem where we had multiple paths. So you'd have to do the line integral over path C1. Then you'd have to do it all over again, step 1, 2, 3, for path C2. Then all over again for a path C3. However, I notice that my path encloses a region. And because my path encloses a region, I don't have to do three separate line integrals. Instead, I can apply Green's theorem. Now, this is going to represent my P. This is going to represent my Q. And so, instead, how about we just do a basic double integral, right, of Qx minus Py. Qx is 1. Py is negative x squared. And this is just a simple basic double integral. You can't get much simpler than this. And so, um, that's it. That's Green's theorem. That's the whole crux of it. Now, the whole thing with positively oriented, that means that it's going, and kind of mentioned this, is going counterclockwise. Okay, so notice how this is going counterclockwise. If your path is going clockwise, if your path is going in the other direction, all you need to do is just put a negative in front of it. So what I'm going to say is that if, if clockwise, then the line integral of f dotted with dr, you're just going backwards. This would be the negative double integral of qx minus py, or heck, you can say py minus qx. Either way, just know that it's the exact same magnitude, but you're going in the opposite direction. Okay, so that was one. Let's try another one. Let's try a couple more of these to really make sure that you understand how Green's theorem works. Okay, and so just as an FYI, all I did, double integral over that region, qx minus py, because I was going counterclockwise. Let's try another one. All right, let's try another one. What if suppose a particle travels one revolution counterclockwise around a unit circle under the force field F, which is given by the following function? Find the work done by that field. Remember, work is just the line integral of f dotted with dr, where this is going to be the p, and this is going to be q. And so, if I want to do f dotted dr, I'm going to do the p dx plus q dy. But that wouldn't be a fun <laughs> integral to do. Think about it. You know, I'd have to parameterize this, and then this isn't going to be the prettiest integral either. It's just, it's going to get messy. But because my path encloses a region, I apply Green's Theorem. And Green's Theorem says I can do the double integral of that region of Qx minus and then Py, which, if you look at this, comes out to 3 times x squared plus y squared, which, because my path is circular, let's convert this into polar. Converting this into polar, this too is about as easy as it gets, where right? your r is constant between 0 and 1, and it's the full 0 to 2 pi. The reason a lot of professors have this chapter as the final exam, and the final exam isn't cumulative, is because this chapter itself is cumulative. You needed to know double integrals in the previous one. You needed to know polar in this one. Later on, when we get to surface integrals, you better remember your triple integrals, your spherical, your cylindrical, all that basically is. So if your previous stuff isn't perfect, I would highly recommend going back and looking at double integrals and polar, triple integrals, cylindrical and spherical. Those are going to be used throughout this entire chapter. Now, I've got one more for y'all. Now, one more problem for you to look at to really make sure that we understand what's going on. Sometimes, what they're going to do is they're going to say, find the area of something using Green's theorem. Long story short, we're reverse engineering it. Okay? And if you want to look at all the math behind it, here's the math behind it. 
but you can actually calculate the area of an enclosed region by integrating over its path. You have the option to do that because of Green's theorem. Now you have three different options. You can either say that area is the line integral of x dy, or it will be the negative integral of negative y dx, or you can say negative one half y dx plus one half x dy. And so long as your path encloses a region, all three of these will output the exact same thing, which is why I recommend just use the easiest one. Honestly, if you're going to compute the area of something using a line integral, I would just do the line integral of x dy. Now, Going to this problem, if I want to find the area of this ellipse using Green's theorem, then I'm going to say that area is the line integral of x dy. And so now we have to revert back to line integrals and go through that three-step process. Step one is to parameterize your surface. And if you look back at that cheat sheet with an ellipse, your x is going to be a cosine t, y is going to be b sine t. Now because I'm going to do the line integral of x dy, I've already got the x, I really only need dy, dy being the derivative of y. And so if area is the line integral of x dy, that'll be the integral, it's going to be the entire region, so that's why I'm going to go the full, 0 to 2 pi, my x was a cosine t, my dy was b cosine t, and then after that it's just a single integral, which that's a little bit of trig integration, going all the way back to uh, Cal 2. So make sure that your trig integration 2 is on point.